Hello everyone, we're back again with Stacey by LP on Football Manager 2012 with Blythe Spartans. As you can see I've got the transfers up because I've signed two new players and released a few more. If you just want to look at the release players there, don't need to show you the stats or anything because they're just dodgy players that we're going to get any first team football really. They've got a few games but not many when players were tired. Then the two players I've just signed up are Scott Traveller who's a goalkeeper to back up James Jopin as I've released the lone loney goalkeeper. He's not very good but he's going to become just a bit better than James Jopin so you know I just wanted to get him up there so hopefully he'll be good for the future. And we've also signed Michael Ricketts who is used to play for some very good teams e.g. Leeds United, Stoke, Middlesbrough, Bolton and Walsall, Cardiff, Burnley, South and Preston Oldham, Tromia, who was at last time. So I signed him up. He's getting quite old, but he'll play a few games. I think he has the quality to play the rest of this season and maybe grab a few goals for me. And I don't know about next season, but he has some nice strength there, as you can see. And I just thought I'd show you the transfer before we go to the fixtures results. So I've just played December. The first game of December was against Boston United away. We went to them. Boston are a very good team so I was hoping to, to get at least a draw but we've got come and picked up a win. Yeah, the final score was 3-2. Graham Armstrong got the first goal. Second goal was well, by Wayne Phillips. Both ex Harry Town players scoring. Then we got the win on the 68th minute when Kevin Austin, their player, scored a known goal. So it's nice to get a known goal isn't it, in a few times this season. After that, we've left guys leading the FA Trophy first round. We're one away, 3-1. Gary Wales is back scoring a penalty. John Martin got one on the 82nd minute. Fergus Bell scored as well. And Gary Wales got injured again. He seems to be always getting injured, Gary Wales. And after that, we went to Bishop Stortford away, where we lost our first loss in quite a while, actually. And we lost to Bishop Stoff for 2 1. We took the lead on the fourth minute with John Martin scoring. And then they got it to 1 1 with Alex Francis scoring. Then they got the victory on the 85th minute, a late goal by Bishop Stafford. Paco Craig scored for them. Uh, yeah, that was a very nice game, but they had a lot more shots than us, so I can't really say anything about that. It's disappointing. Then we came back with a win against Corby. The score was Corby nil, Bly Spartans three. Gary Wells back scoring again. He got two in that game. And Paul Mullen scored a new goal for us. And Corby didn't really do anything, did they really? So I can't really say anything about them. Then we went to Neil Aspin's side, FC Halifax. I, I don't really like Halifax that much, so I was always delighted to get a winner over him, 1 0. Dominic Schimmen with a late goal in the 82nd minute. Got us the win in the end. And we've got three other cards. Fergus Bell, Gary Wells and Danny Groves. And Wayne Butchingham got injured on the 90 plus second minute. So that's a bit disappointing to get an uh, injured player on that time. And we'll be back next time against all these teams. It's quite a lot of fixtures in January. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... First one with Walkington, and Ian Geisley, Colin Bay, Cambridge in the FA Trophy. Second round to get a bit of money at that because we're at home. Sturbridge and Vauxhall. And if you look at the league table, we're still top of the league. We're still 11 points clear at the top. Looking good. So hopefully we can keep that up and we'll see you later now, guys.